Star Trek Wrath of Khan director Nicholas Meyer has been confirmed to be actively working on the upcoming TV show Star Trek Discovery as a consulting producer for the series. And now in an interview with Trek Movie in which he was talking about his duties on the new Trek series, the director revealed that he is also working on another project that might get Star Trek fans excited. One thing that has nothing to do with Discovery is that I am working on another Star Trek project, but I can't discuss that either. John Byersall and Meyer actually working on another new Star Trek movie. I mean, the guy who directed arguably the greatest Star Trek movie ever made, continuing to work on Star Trek, yeah. My only hope though, and it's not like, you know, yeah, a new series of shorts for CBS you know, Bumble Diddle App 4. <laughs> Download CBS Bumble Diddle App 4 and you can watch these new Star Trek. Like, I hope it's not something like that, like kind of like what Discovery is. I, I hope it's the new Star Trek movie, the one they already said Chris Pine and uh, Chris Hemsworth are going to appear. That would be great. I have nothing to back this up with. I have a sneaking suspicion it's a video game. I have a sneaking suspicion it might be a Star Trek video game that he might be getting involved right. in. But if only there I was hope a convention the where they could announce <laughs> new video games coming out. Do you have any insider information? From Absolutely not. Nobody would ever go to that. I don't even know what you're talking about. A video <laughs> game convention? Craziness. So uh, I buy it. Sure, I buy it, Schnepp. I'd buy a video game convention. I would totally go to that. But um, <laughs> yeah. Nicholas Meyer, the guy who did Star Trek II, and then arguably another one of the greater ones, Undiscovered Country, came back later and did the sixth one. Um, I did, did he do that yep. one? I did not realize that yeah. would be the next best uh, one. I yeah, think. it's got the best back and forth with Kirk, and uh, with the, they used to act together, oh. and so they, have, they took love with Christopher Plummer. So anyway, um, yeah, this guy being involved makes me feel a little bit better about this nightmare called Star Trek Discovery that I keep hearing about from every one of my friends who works in the industry. So it's sort of like, you know, putting on a fun, a fun face and being like, man, I hope it's good. What's that stuff behind me? Tornado, strange people screaming, burning, death. I don't know what's going on. Hope it works. <laughs> Murder, horror, <laughs> screaming, death. Don't know, but they got a talented guy involved, so I hope he's able to do something cool. Yeah, you would think you would have some involvement with a new Star Trek movie. I mean, this is the guy that, like John said, made Wrath of Khan, which is arguably the best Star Trek movie ever made. And then when he came back for Undiscovered Country, remember they were coming off of Star Trek V, The Final Frontier, directed by... Final Frontier, is it Kirk? William, William Shatner! Shatner! Yeah, which was not the best Star Trek movie I ever made. I found the face of God and I fought him. So, if you have a guy who can rescue a franchise, but can also make arguably the best movie in that franchise you want him involved whether it's with the new tv show maybe he even is just in a consulting phase with the new star trek movie which i think a lot of fans would be on board with because the complaint that you get about the new star trek flicks is that they don't quite feel like the old star trek flicks i think some of that went away with the last star trek movie even though it wasn't as well you know as far as box office numbers go they didn't right. get the returns they wanted if you pick a better time to release the movie and you have people like this at least consulting possibly directly Directing it, I think that's a great direction to take Star Trek where you're you're appeasing the hardcore fans again because you don't want to lose the hardcore fan base even if you're trying to get new fans and younger fans and people excited in the new movie you can have some of that old magic come back this could be what they're looking at yeah I certainly hope that I mean especially bringing in uh, Meyer is a smart move and I think maybe they're like kind of rejiggering a little bit of what they were originally talking about. It was called Star Trek Prime, and it was going to be directly connected to the JJ universe, and that made more sense to me than this like full-on reboot where we're like, we don't even know what we are. Hey, look, I look like I'm from The Phantom Menace. I look like I'm from The Force Awakens. This is supposed to be Star Trek. Bring in some of the people who actually worked on Star Trek. Don't be firing all the people who love Star Trek, you morons. <laughs>